Hi, everyone. Um, today, we're going to talk about the virtue prudence. So we've already talked about faith, hope, charity, temperance, and fortitude. So we have prudence, and then next week will be justice. Prudence is wisdom. Wisdom in choosing something that is pleasing to God. God gives us free will. We're allowed to make whatever choices we want. But as a follower of Jesus, we want to do the thing that whatever is most pleasing to God. How do we do that? Well, with prudence, we know what is good, when to do it, and how to do it. But how do we get to that point where we understand that? Well, it's a process. It's not something that you're just going to cheese overnight. Overnight, Wisdom doesn't just come to babies. But as you learn, so as you go, you get understanding of different things. And um, St. Thomas of Aquinas gives us some examples. So I'm going to read um, some of his work because it's not my own words. So uh, pardon me looking off of the video. We, we use our memory. We learn a lot of things that happen from the past. Um, so like a baby, if I burn my hand or not, well, hopefully not a baby, but a young child burns their hand, probably not going to touch that fire again. They're learning from that. Well, all of our experiences are stored in our memory. And so we use those experiences to make the decisions better each time as we go. Uh, for example, I was talking to my son last night and he uh, had an interaction at school and he was concerned about it. He said, I don't know if I was acting really kind, mom. I think I was bragging. And I said, well, if you don't like the way that feels, then next time don't do it. You know, and you can always go and talk to your friend and try to make it better and say, I'm sorry that I was bragging. I think you did a great job too. So God gives us grace. And through that grace, we're able to help make our decisions better as we grow and as we keep learning. Use your memory to help you do that. Understanding. Um, you know, you must know what's right and wrong before you can make a right or wrong decision. To help us do that, um, studying the Bible, going, sending your kids to PSR, sending them to Catholic schools, talking to them about this uh, at home, um, what is good and what is bad, and explaining them why, what is right and wrong, and why. Give them the why. If you don't know the why, look it up. The catechism and the Bibles are there. If you don't have them, call me. I've got extras. I'll be happy to to give you some. So um, another one is docility. I know that we think sometimes of docile as, oh, so timid, but it doesn't, it, you're being open to learning. Your brain is ready to take in that new information. Uh, we want to have this trait when it's good and pleasing to God, uh, not the other way. So we, we have to be willing to learn. Soak up that information, take it in, and then it's stored in our memory for later to use. Uh, foresight. When you're making a decision, think about what could happen um, at thinking ahead. So for kids and for us, um, maybe some of us need to be better about this, but like we're going on a vacation and we know that we're going to a beach. We have to have the foresight to plan, uh, I'll need a swimsuit. I'll need sandals on the beach. I want a towel. Maybe I need lots of water so, and sunblock. Um, a hat if my head's bald and, and I don't want to get sunburned on there. So though that's foresight to help me make those decisions. Well, when we're making decisions um, in everyday life, we use that foresight and to consider what might happen if we act a certain way now. Circums uh, I always say this wrong. Circumspection. It's looking at all of the facts in the circumstance before you make your decision. Um, caution. Caution helps us avoid doing evil, but it also helps us to do what is good. Um, we can watch out for things that are keeping us from making those good decisions. And then in return, we know what those good decisions are. God wants us to avoid evil, but he also wants us to do good. And a prudent person is looking for ways that they can do good. So um, ways to practice these at home. Um, with you, when you're making your decisions, be deliberate, make a good judgment, and then take action. Do the good. Find a person you think is wise and talk to them about things before you do it. Um, always think before you speak and act. Um, just takes a few seconds sometimes to make that prudent decision. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I'll hold my tongue today.
Um, learn from other people's decisions. After you're talking to somebody who you think is wise, or if you see somebody who you think is unwise, do you make a decision. Uh, try to make your decision better. Like make sure that you're taking action in a way that you find is most pleasing to God. Um, Bible and catechism, of course, and pray, 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 pray. I will say that at the end of every video. Pray before you do something. The Holy Spirit is with you. Have a great week.